community that has established the rights we've already achieved. We have a lot of experience to share and impart and that can form the basis for future campaigns. It's nice to be able to still be still part of Pride and be on the Pride bus and that is actually a great honour. To celebrate, not only just recognise, but celebrate the culture. Our culture is very difficult to describe, but when we meet, we know what it's about. For many of our members, keeping in touch, making new friends and maintaining those friendships are especially key. Older LGBT people are more at risk really than older heterosexual people of living alone, of being separated from their families, perhaps not really having many resources. Open Ears London offers social activities, advice, advocacy, a befriending service and also as much as possible a sense that older LGBT people have a voice that is going to be heard. And now you imagine yourself, there's like four different ways of seeing your face. Because I don't feel like a pensioner. I don't feel simply to. I think I feel 28 at times. I've been using open doors, I suppose, for about three or four years, I think. So I always like to look on their website and see what events are coming up. Each and every month we offer some 40 different events and activities. Nearly all of them are run by volunteers and those events range from walking groups, pub socials, lunch clubs, outings in art groups, all sorts of groups. And so people can dip in and out as much or as little as they want. There's certainly 10 meetings every month that I go to of varying forms. It gives me a bit of a social life that I otherwise wouldn't have. I come pretty much regularly on the coffee morning on Friday. You can lose touch, especially if you move around quite a lot like I did. Um, and so Opening Doors was very good at becoming the agent for reconnecting a lot of us. By people or friends of by people or allies or anybody that's just positive about older by people can come and sometimes we just meet and have a cup of tea and sometimes we have an invited guest. I feel very connected now and um, yes I, I feel better in myself. Um, I think it's having an effect that I look better and younger and <laughs> so can't be bad. <laughs> The walking group gives people an opportunity to get some exercise, to meet other people and to get outside. I've been to um, Kew Gardens a few times and I've been to the V&A. This is about being active, proactive, engaged, um, um, not hiding, uh, and promoting very active role play by LGBT people. Opening Doors has acquired a reputation for well-delivered training, and we have a number of people who give training. I think it's an area that will grow, and Ola recently delivered some awareness training at Broadmoor. I'd like to encourage people of all ages, of all ethnicities, um, from all parts of the LGBT communities to become involved in Opening Doors. Opening Doors London actually helped me to understand who I am um, what I want and what I can be. Ambassadors are used in all sorts of circumstances. We, I mean, um, I've been, for instance, to the Home Office, to the Police Federation, to a synagogue. I take people to museums and existing venues and make sure that people stay together and have a good time. 
I help run a monthly women's film night and then I do the befriending scheme. I don't think people realise how happy I am to have a befriender, you know. It's really good. I mean, we might go to cinemas or we might just sit indoors. Is the call? No. Joe and I have got this great relationship and we really enjoy our time together and I walk away from it with loads of food for thought and, uh, you know, feeling good. You learn, there's a lot of wisdom and stuff that I wouldn't have and I've gained a lot from this. Yeah, he's had quite a colourful, <laughs> colourful life so it's been cool and it, yeah, it's been cool for him to show it, isn't it, actually? Well, I was completely out of touch completely out of touch. I still am to a certain degree, but at least with uh, Kirsten and Harriet, they sort of bring things into my life that I hadn't heard of. I hadn't been to Pride for years, and I mean years. I'm going right the way back to the 70s. And Harriet got everything arranged for me because my mobility is bad. She arranged the transport. It was absolutely fantastic that day. Absolutely brilliant. Opening doors can be a friend and it can enable you to make more friends and it's just a very nice place to be. Eleanor Roosevelt said, beautiful young people are a miracle of nature. Beautiful old people are a miracle of art.